Alright, welcome back. This is part 4 on how to switch from Windows XP to Ubuntu Linux. You really should take a look at parts 1, 2, and 3 before you take a look at this. Welcome back. Alright, two things that you should do right off the bat as soon as you install Ubuntu Linux, and I will show you here in a moment. Um, first of all, this really doesn't have a traditional start button menu as you had in Windows 7 or in Windows XP or in Windows 7 as you see here in Windows 7 but there is something similar called the dash so to keep this simple I will call this top left circle here it says search your computer and online sources let's call that the start button just to keep it simple alright click the start button there type in update what we need to do is run some updates so we'll go to the software updater this is the first thing you should do right after installing your brand new Ubuntu Linux and of course it'll search the web for any updates. Now you can not continue to browse uh, to this or through this if you want to. Uh, the second thing I wanted to show you uh, you should do is um, the privacy. Um, yeah, Let's go in and uh, I spelled it wrong but it kind of figures out what you're looking for. Security and privacy. We'll click that. Let's go ahead and minimize the software updater there. You can see it minimizes it to the left. This is going to be Oh, something similar to the Windows 7 Superbar as you see here at the bottom. All right, from here we'll go to search. And it says here, include online search results. You can leave this on if you so choose to. However, to make your, your machine run faster, especially if it's an old machine and not, and not a lot of RAM, I would click that off to make your machine run a little bit faster. All right, let's go back to the software updater. And as you can see, I just installed this, so naturally there would be a bunch of updates. Normally, you would just click Install Now, let it run the updates, and reboot if you have to. For this tutorial, I will just exit out of this. So those are the two most important things. Now, if, by the way, here, if I right-click, I can just click that. But those two are the most important things right after installing Ubuntu Linux. Of course, the rest of it really is getting used to the software such as Firefox that you have played with I'm sure in Windows <coughs> excuse me and as far as this goes really you are used to this I'm sure let's go to the uh, Total OS Today shopping website and this is where I offer tips and recommendations on technology on Linux and Windows and by the way since I have not installed all the updates it says here, would you like to install this one? For now, I will just go no. Let's go ahead and maximize this. But anyway, for this demonstration here, I think I'll leave it here. Um, once again, do the updates. Uh, change the, uh, the search, the default search, search function to make your computer run a little bit faster. If you need any more help on shopping and want to buy, go to the Total OS Today Shop website here. And here I will post, I have stuff on both Linux and Windows computers including Windows 7 if you prefer to stick with Windows. Uh, finally here there's still there's 26 days left if you would like to vote is Ubuntu going in the right direction. All the previous polls I just remembered just to keep this clean I posted it here at the bottom. You, you may want to take a look at this if you are brand new. One of the polls was the best Linux OS for Windows users I'll let you take a look at that. All right, I think that's it for this one. So once again, two things, privacy setting, the online search, I would probably disable that and do all the updates and you should be good to go. All right, thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.